Welcome. Welcome to this Friday, April 18th, within the octave of Easter, as we continue to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ throughout these eight great days of the octave. And if we hear the scriptures proclaimed today, the first reading, the, the first reading picks up the story of Acts, Acts chapter 4. Remember where Peter and John enter into the temple area and this crippled man asks them for something? And then Jesus, or, um, Peter and John, well, they don't have money to give them, but they do, through the name of Jesus Christ, bring about his miracle cure. And he's no longer a cripple, and he's filled with joy. And the people begin to see this, and this, this stirs up unrest among the people. And of course, it, it draws the attention of the, the leaders, the scribes. And of course, they're going to have Peter, in Acts chapter 4, arrested. Peter, as he's brought before the high priest, Annas, Ananias, and then Caiaphas. Remember, these are the same people who were part of Jesus' crucifixion. This is the same courtyard where Peter is brought before them. And the first time Peter was brought there, remember, he denied Jesus three times. And the servant girl asked him if he was one of the man's disciples, and he flatly, categorically denied it, that he didn't even know him. But now we see a very different Peter. We see a Peter filled with the Holy Spirit. And he's able to boldly proclaim Jesus Christ crucified, risen from the dead, and that there's no other name under heaven under which we can be saved. And he accuses the chief leaders and the scribes that they were the ones who, who put Jesus to death. The very Messiah whom they have been waiting for and longing for is the stone rejected by the builders. And yet God has used that to become the cornerstone, our salvation. So along with Peter and John and the disciples, let us too be filled with the Holy Spirit to boldly go forth and to proclaim Jesus Christ crucified and risen from the dead. May God bless you.